Hello and welcome back my flock. We are here. We are in the vicinity of the Knox Drive-In on May 5th. We're going to see the first weekend ever of movies in Barberville, Kentucky since the 1980s. We're here very early. Earlier than we should be. It's only 5 o'clock. The tickets don't go on sale to 7. I was afraid of crowd. I'd say it'll probably be closer to an hour before before they start showing up. I just want to make sure I'm at the front of the line. And it may not even be crowded. You never do. You never know. Hoping for a great night. We're hoping everything goes good. That everything's a blast. I am excited. Everybody else is getting there too. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have a really good time. Just looking forward to all the new stuff we're going to see the new concession area the new screen the new projector everything's brand new and it's definitely gonna happen i've been waiting i think it's been about three years since they first announced this and now we're gonna see if it all paid off or not if it was is it worth the wait or not i hope it becomes a really cool place for everybody to go watch movies I always loved the drive-in back when I was a kid. It was experience you, you just can't have in a regular movie theater. Uh, I think you should at least try it. You get to see two movies. You get to be out amongst the stars. If the weather's really good, you know, you can get out and lay on a blanket in front of your car or in a, in a chair. I got like a, these chairs that you take camping. I got that. Just enjoy two movies around out in the outdoors it's just it's the best of both worlds if you haven't tried it you should really try it if there is a you know driving close to you we used to have to drive all the way to somerset me and the drew drop i took him to the somerset drive in the 27 twin driving when it was open back when he was young because that was the closest to us now we got one in our own backyard so you know i'm going to use it and, and enjoy it that being this close home because we'd take about an hour and a half to get back to the or at least an hour to get back home from somerset to where i live here just past barberville so that was a heck of a drive when you watched a movie and you got out at you know one o'clock it'd be three o'clock 1 30 or something you get out and then you get home by about three o'clock it's a long drive so i was i just can't wait that we have one i mean it would be great if we had one close to home we go here it's like 15 minutes back to the house this is going to be great it's going to be an, an awesome experience i'm going to kind of do a video throughout the the night until i leave and i'm hoping uh you enjoy it just hang on and probably the next video when we're getting closer to time so stick with me okay here we are waiting to get into the drive-in they let us in about five minutes till seven this here is the actual menu for what they are going to be serving in the concession stand. And here's where you're actually buying the tickets. I decided to shoot a little GoPro here as I got to go into the actual theater. I was first in line, like I said. And we are off here. Now that I got my ticket, I am driving around here to, to get to where I wanted to park. She said the front rows were probably going to be really close and I might have to crane my neck up to see the picture so I kind of went back six rows in at first and I ended up moving up to a fifth row but this is the sixth row and I got that dead center because I like to be in dead center in a theater so I treated it the same way you have to park between the white poles and you kind of go about your door front top of your door to the pole on your left and then you can actually uh, sit a chair out in front of your car because they want you to put your stuff out in front of your car to sit on not beside because you'll take up a parking spot if you do that with your chair so I got set up here and I'm showing you how far the, it's not as far off as the the video shows the project uh, the actual screen it's a lot closer than you think but I did end up moving up a row in front of me there and I was pleasantly surprised with 
you know, the weather and everything and how everything looked. Just taking in all the different footage here of it. I end up getting out and walking over to the concession time for the first time. May 5th, like I said, 2023. Movies are back and I wanted to show you all the different stuff that's inside. So when you go, you'll be ready. And here it shows where you can call for the party lines if you want to have a party rental. You can call that number and then be set up. And then they have stuff here for the concession. Really cool stuff you can use with your phone. The Mitchell Market tie-in. And here we go in. We see the actual where you order here. And then you pick up on the right side. And there's all the menu items above. This was kind of uh, rough when uh, the movie got going. Because everybody was in there crammed in there trying to get their food. But it, the concession seemed to do really well. You walk down this corridor here and you can see on the left is your men's restroom. And then if you go past that, over next to the garbage can, we have the women's restroom. And you can come out through this way and you're, you can see the playground area and you see all the front parking places for cars. Really a lot more room than I thought there would be. For cars to park, I think it ended up like 130 some parking spots that they could actually use. Now we didn't completely sell out because I saw a few spots, but they bought tickets all the way up till nine o'clock. You know, this was seven o'clock, still two hours before the first movie showed. But as they were going, they were kind of it had kind of been kind of slow there at the ticket booth because there was only one person working it, and they had to give out your stuff take your payment so it took a while for people to get in but they were literally lined up all the way almost back to the baseball fields and they were just coming in all through until the time like i said the movie started before it died down and this is the playground second kind of small but i do have footage here of uh, a little bit later of the kids playing on it uh, there was a lot of children there. There was a lot of people there that were, I mean, for the first time ever having a drive-in, uh, behaved herself very well. I was very happy with the, with the way the audience was. Uh, I thought we'd have more drama, <laughs> but we didn't have a lot of drama, and I was glad of that. They had even had these picnic tables set up. I guess if you wanted to eat your food out there and get out of your car and be able to be with your kids while they're playing in the playground. Uh, it's a neat little thing to add. I didn't think about that. They had a slide and it looked like a merry-go-round and a little, uh, like a tic-tac-toe type deal thing on the left. And it just look at all the area. I mean, it just the, it was a beautiful day for this. It was a beautiful day to be outside. And that's what the drive-in's made for. People ask, why would you want to watch movies outside? In the summertime, you can't beat it. It's just a cool way to get to see two movies for a good price and be out amongst the stars and as you watch the movie because you can't watch it till dark and that is a great time when you got warm weather. You see here the Brickyard Ponds and then you see the massive screen and all the different spots available. Like I said, there was a few up front that didn't sell out but it was pretty much a sellout to me. And like I said, the concession stand stayed packed. I didn't do video of the concession stand of everybody in it. But they were there all night long. I was trying to get some hot dogs. It took me over 30 minutes. And this is after the big crowd. But the hot dogs were really well done. They used the Mitchell Chili, like I said. They weren't the hugest hot dogs in the world. And they were two fifty dollars apiece. But I was starving and I had to have something to eat. Because I didn't need much before I went in. But kudos with their concession. I know they made tons of money. You see all the areas here behind the car that were available. And this is just kind of a picture of the people backed up, showing them how far they were backed up earlier in the day, getting their tickets as people pulled in. Uh, maybe they'll have a better way of getting them in faster next time. 
I don't know. This is stuff they have to work out, especially with the concession. The concession got bogged down where they were making stuff and everything. But here you start seeing that they're starting to get filled up, starting to pour in, and uh, it was just a beautiful sight to see. I was very, very happy with how it's all turned out. I've been covering this from the very beginning, three years from there. This is where they had the um, the actual uh, guys getting the movie ready. And it was still an hour before they actually got to show the movie, so that was way ahead of time. And you can see here the kids playing out in the playground, which really touched my heart because to see kids out and about and getting ready to watch a movie is great. And here the movie's starting here right around 9 o'clock, and that's how the screen looked then. But it got as it got darker, the screen looked better. Now, it does have lines in the screen where the screen is made out of different uh, panels. I did notice that. But as you started watching the movie and it got darker, they became less and less visible. They're still there, but you you know it kind of blurred in after a while. And here's the big logo for the Knox Drive-In. Really awesome to see it here. And I'm glad you guys were here with me to, to watch all my steps and, and updates on this. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. And we appreciate you here on the Bad Raven channel. And I always come back more for reviews. We, me and the Drew Drop love doing reviews on here and we'll probably do more of them as the things go along but i just want to say check out our t public store we got some new merchandise on there for the drew drop if you love drew drop and you want to buy a shirt with him on it there are new stuff there available and I always remember the bad raven is your friend and i'm going to let you go and we'll talk at you later and goodbye <laughs>